My name is Dr. Shinalo Anemalo and I am an infectious disease specialist out of Methodist University Hospital and a professor of medicine, Division of Infectious Diseases at UT College of Medicine. So as you know, infectious disease is um, a specialty that basically deals with managing or treating various types of infections. It could be bacterial, it could be viruses, it could be fungal. I grew up in Africa and um, I did experience a lot of infections and most of them uh, were childhood infections. And as a child, I was really curious, like I could not understand why there was so much illnesses, especially infections. And so that was where my curiosity came from. And I knew I wanted to become a doctor. And after all that vigorous training, I still wanted to become an infectious disease specialist. So it's something that I'm very passionate about, you know, given my upbringing. Okay. So I know that you're, um, when I hear about you, uh, the HIV always comes up like you want to want to talk about HIV then this is your doctor so why HIV why is that such a passion uh, for you does it go back to your roots as well to Africa so not necessarily so you know I you know during my course of training in the medical field HIV was something that was thought to be a taboo mm -hmm. and it kind of I was very curious because usually um, in those days when you know you hear HIV people run in the opposite direction yes and one thing I would like to let our audience know today is that it's no longer that HIV is an infection that you know you could get through various methods that I'm going to talk about in a second and um, it's something even though there's no cure but it's something that could be managed so we see HIV now which stands for human immunodeficiency virus um, as an infection that you can control with the right medications the same way people take medications for diabetes for hypertension for high cholesterol for asthma you get to take medications for HIV HIV and you can live your normal life like everybody else. Okay, so uh, we're going to really get into that in more detail, but just for right now, I would like to know what is the prevalence in, in our community of uh, HIV? Is it still bad? Because you know, you don't hear about it any, like you, you know, people just don't talk about it like they did before medicines, you know, came on the scene. So we have, um, we have a major, major issue at the moment. So Memphis, our dear city, ranks number two in the entire country for the most um, newly diagnosed cases of HIV. And what is shocking is that it's affecting our younger populations, our teenagers from their ages, from the range of 14 years old to 19 up until 21 years old. So it is scary and it is devastating. Okay, 14 years old. So where is this coming from? Because it's the only way, you know, in my generation, you know, we always connected it with, you know, uh, intimacy. Absolutely. So how are 14 year olds in that age group contracting HIV? Exactly, so we all wonder about that. But what, we, what this is telling us, obviously, because the numbers don't lie, mm -hmm. is that, um, well, our younger ones are having what we call unprotected sexual intercourse. Okay. I mean, there, there are many ways you can, you know, pick up HIV. Number one would be through um, intimacy, you know, sexual, unprotected sexual intercourse. You can have other um, sources like blood transfusion, but these days um, blood products undergo very rigorous testing before they are transfused. And then you have what we call like vertical transmission where a mother who has HIV that was uncontrolled and gives birth to a baby and can transmit that infection uh, to the baby. Then for the healthcare workers, you can have like what we call the needle stick injuries, where you know you get a needle stick from you know maybe an infected person. And then another population would be our intravenous drug users. So if you're sharing needles, you know, or people that perhaps you know have to take let's say insulin or whatever, and you're sharing needles with people. So mm. those would be the major, major ways of transmitting HIV, but in our teenage population here, um, it's pointing more towards unprotected sexual intercourse. Oh. Well, let me ask you this, because I've had this conversation before in this, uh, talking about HIV. Um, children, we're going back to just the thought of that. How do you know, or how does a child know 
if they have HIV? Do they just end up getting sick, coming to the hospital? How, what does that look like? That, so that is why HIV for most part is asymptomatic. So what oh. it means is that you might not know. It's, you know, like, so what happens is that the initial infection, you might have what seems like to be like flu-like um, illness and then it goes away and then you're fine, mm -hmm. right? And so most people will be like, oh, I probably had the flu and that's it. So it doesn't have any specific symptoms and that's why we are pushing for people to be tested so for our younger generations for older ones like us if you are sexually active you need to know your status yes you know especially you know if you are not certain of the person that you are involved with everybody needs to get tested that's the only way you can know the times where now where you become symptomatic meaning you start you know having symptoms mm -hmm. or falling sick would be the end stage of it, which is called the AIDS. Oh, yeah. that's when it's really. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I had a, a family member, he was 31 years old, and he passed away with AIDS. And I, I always say that if you had an enemy, that is one of those things I wouldn't even wish on my enemy, because that was back when there wasn't medication for yes. it, and you just had to see them. And I always tell people, if you see somebody really that pass away, due to AIDS, you would, never, you would do everything in this world you can not to, if any way possible, not to be infected because it was really a, a really difficult uh, ending for him. Uh, we deal with it, you know, we treat, uh, you know, to the best of our abilities, but again, um, I'm more focused on where we are in our community here in Memphis and what is destroying our community and right now is going to be STIs, you know, sexually transmitted infections, HIV, and syphilis, especially amongst our young um, people. So something I really want to be very clear, you know, is that for parents, you know, uh, we need to have those talks, sit down with our kids and talk to them and see where they are. For the kids that are sexually active, you have to know your status. Get tested. My name is Dr. Shinalo Animalo and I am an infectious disease specialist out of Methodist University Hospital and a professor of medicine, Division of Infectious Diseases at UT College of Medicine.